Hey everybody, Ninja Steve here. Hi, 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 hi. Um, so listen, can you guys see the purse or is it all blurry? We're having a little technical difficulties at the moment. So I just need to know if you're able to see. Um, is anyone there? Okay. Okay, big old zero. Thank you each and every one of you for showing up today. I took hours and hours. Oh my God, we have two people here. Woo! <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, Ninja Steve here. It's, yes, it's Taco Talk with two people. Oh, that's two, four, four, four. Are we going to, whatever? Oh my God, we're just, we're just, we're cooking with fire now. Um, listen, I have a quick question for you. Would someone respond? Is the image really blurry on your screen? Uh, we're having a little camera issues at the moment. And, uh, if it's really blurry, then I'm going to do something different. So I just need to know if you 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 all can see clearly or not. Anybody? Oh, super blurry on Aaron's hand. Okay, Aaron. Um, Susie is at the um, computer monitoring um, the questions and everything. So it's real blurry. No, this is it's real blurry on Aaron. So okay. you know what? Let's, let's try for 10 minutes and see how it looks and yeah. it goes wonky. And we might just have to get out on everybody. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to start what I wanted to do today. And um, if you really can't see, then I'm going to go really quickly. So first of all, I do want to show you that I did finish the unicorn. I'm going to move out the purse for a second. I did finish the unicorn. He's all done looking amazing. Now I'm going to come into the camera. Can you, is it blurry for you all? All right, not focusing. I have no idea. Usually this is supposed to make it. No. Anyway, this is all done. I just wanted to show you because I had started that last week and that's finished. Now, what I want to tell you what we're going to do today, quick little story. A friend of mine uh, became a client and she asked me to take her wedding dress and make some things out of it. So I know a week or so ago, Kelly showed you that I did these uh, bears and now I made these fanny packs. Had to make my own pattern and I created this really fun fanny pack. So I thought, well, let's elevate this. And um, I have yet to cut the um, buckle, but that's what we're going to do. So I got a simple buckle let me take out all the goodies here and i'm going to move the fanny pack to the side so even if you have a fanny pack and you have some kind of simple buckle this is a, a perfect um example of what i want to do this is called i believe military susie it's a military buckle super um you find it on a lot of things and also i made instead of that little claspy thing on the uh the fanny pack i thought it'd be really different to do a buckle so obviously this is hooks in and then the thing goes in there so what do we do always I should put my glasses on so it's not blurry for me and i'm going to move now i'm going to move this way down see if anything changes it's crystal clear on my screen but uh, it's still horrible for you all all right so anyway i'm going to just do this really quick go through the motions because if you can't really see then you're only going to get frustrated so I'm going to sand it, scruff it up a little bit. There's a little detail on the buckle. It raises and there's a ridge right there. So I'm not going to do that. So I sanded it, got my alcohol wipe, clean that. And now I do need to just wipe this only because I'm going at super speed here. So I'm using um, a mix pack of Golden Shadow. And I just need to open it. Excuse me? All oh, right. Right. All you Facebook uh, users, back out and then uh, give permission so we know who we are. You are. Well, we know who we are, but I mean, we want to know who you are. Uh, that way, uh, you know, we can see your comments and answer you properly. I am going to be using two-part epoxy. Boy, we're really up to close and personal on this part of it. They only need a teeny tiny bit. Look, teeny tiny bit. That's a blurry mess for you all, but just think it. How big is 
It is, nope, I'd say the size of a dime. Mix it up. La, 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 la. Okay, cool. How is everybody doing today? So, I'm just going to brush it on. And like, um, and I'm really, in, in one way, I probably don't even need much more than whatever glue got on the applicator because um, I really want a thin, okay, I lied. I'm putting on more than I just said. Pay no attention to the man behind the mask. Um, putting on a thin layer here. And there you go. That's all covered. I'm using the uh, two-part epoxy CG500 because this is metal. It's a belt. And I want to, I want it to be super sturdy. I mean, granted, people may drop it. I don't know. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to do this a little different then. We're going to do the whole edging first, but I am, there's a, there's a, a number of twenties in this pack. So I'm just going to randomly throw them around because that way it will be evenly spaced for the, these larger twenties. Let me just flip a couple over and you see, they're a little bit like they're randomly, but I'm going to do, well, that's a 16. Uh, I'm going to do one more right there. So it's kind of evenly spread out. Now I can put a 20 next to each other. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm literally just going to randomly take stones and I'm going to do the full border. Hey, Diana. Hi, Jerry. How y'all doing? And, um, and uh, this is a really good question. She said, do you have to wear a mask when you're working with epoxy? So with uh, CG500, there is there's a teeny tiny bit of fumes, but basically no. I'm super sensitive. So if you're sensitive, then I would say wear a mask. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, but uh, you do not have to. Oh, there's two stones on that. Yes. If uh, if Susie didn't type that, you follow your SDS, um, the, the details on the glue. There were two. See, there were two uh, stone. There was a little stone on the bottom. I'm just flipping that off and getting rid of it on my glue thing. Um, but yeah, uh, CG five hundred. I, I really, it's probably my favorite. You can also see. No, you can't because it's probably all blurry for you all. Yeah. So um, ask everybody. Okay. All right. So um, is it all really blurry for you all, or do you do you want me stop, or do you want me to continue? This is your call, people. Be because um, I'm the camera that I'm looking through. It's all crystal clear, but I can see across the room. It's pretty frightening. Pretty frightening. So I will continue if you would like me to. But if you're frustrated that you can't see what I'm doing, then I will stop. Okay, Jerry, thank you for that. Thank you for that um, encouragement. Hello, ladies. Yes. Jack, oh my God, everyone is, yay, everyone's so friendly today. I love it. So look, I want you to see, even so you may not be able to see exactly. Yeah. Um, so, Facebook user, I can't see your name, so I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but it's not the camera, it's the Wi-Fi feed. 
So it comes in and comes out of focus as the Wi-Fi gets clearer and then kind of waxes and wanes away. So we can call it quits and retry this again next week and um, check our Wi-Fi or we can keep going. But it's definitely the Wi-Fi, not the camera, unfortunately. Did you, did, did uh, Facebook use it? Did you get all that information from Susie? Maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. No, this is our lovely um, Kara Kara from Crystal Ninja. So, uh, as I said, this is. Oh, hey, Oracle. Thank, thank you for for uh, letting giving permission so we know who we are. So this is Golden Shadow Mix, and this this is SS fives to SS twenties. And the thing is, is that even so the the um, the buckle is brass. It looks really fantastic. Um, the combination of, of the golden shadow with the brass. Now, because there's lots of little stones, I think I'm going to move that one away because I don't like it. So it's it's a belt buckle. It's a belt buckle, and it's going to go on the fanny pack that... Oh, you didn't see that. Um, I'll show that again in just a minute, Jerry, but um, I... A friend and a client asked me to take her wedding dress and make things out of it. So I made teddy bears and I made backpacks and I made fanny packs. And this will be the buckle for the fanny pack. Um, but, you know, basically, um, this is a military buckle. This would, here, let me put that down for one second. This is the fanny pack. Here is the. Ooh, it's. This is the um, the belt. Whatever. This would. This is gonna go in there, and then then this side will have the other side to go in there, and this will keep it closed. Um, so, I'm using CG five hundred. I don't need to wear a mask. I'm. Yes. So. Uh, the thing with um, two-part, uh, it really depends on the temperature of your room. Right now, the office is a little bit warm. I um, did two buckles this morning, and it lasted about an hour. Um, so the thing is, is that you will be able to tell because the consistency, you it starts to get sticky um uh, get tacky and you'll be like oh okay it's starting to set off but um we always suggest to work in small sections like this is this is like a this is a one and a half by almost two inch um uh, belt or surface so i've got plenty of time i mean i'm literally throwing these stones on so Vivian has a question. Okay, Vivian. Yes. So on the taco purse, I actually used um, Fusion Tech. It's um, God only knows what that material was. It's like fake leather. It's kind of a <laughs> fake pl plastic <laughs> leather. Some crap. I mean, some uh, whatever. Um, that you can see it in here, um, but it's a very flexible, and you can see that these things move really easy and, and the stones are staying on. So it's pretty bendy. I mean, this I made for uh, taco, uh, taco Talk on Tuesdays. It's, it's, you know, it's my little gimmick, but I mean, you could use it. I mean, you probably could throw that thing around and it would probably be okay as well. Um, I think Susie might have a little more information as far as um some of the things she's made it how how she likes fusion tech do you like it on on a material and stuff I like do. that yeah okay so, yeah 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 right yeah okay so susie says when she does her costumes she uses uh fusion tech and only 
on the armor parts of her um, costumes, which are more uh, rigid, right, Susie? Yeah. Uh, she uses flex. So uh, I'd say uh, you'd be surprised at what you can do with uh, fusion. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to answer that question that, you know, because I don't want to misinform you. Kelly would. Um, uh, I, I, yeah, Chrissy, uh, Kelly would have a better um, answer for you because it depends on the type of vinyl it is. And I am not familiar with um, with that. So I'm, I don't want to misguide you and be like, oh, this is a great glue. And then you try it and then you're like, oh, crap, it looks awful. Um, so. Sorry, I can't help you there. I suppose uh, you could type us in at info at yeah. the website and and um, you would get the appropriate answer. How y'all doing? Are we still got people here? Yeah. Awesome. Oh my God, look at it. It's a full house. Woo, party in the house. Right. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, Susie can't come close to the, to the mic because she's monitoring you all over there. And I mean, and that's like a whole 12 feet across the room. So you're just going to have to listen to me, uh, either, you know, so look, I'm like, I'm more than halfway done here. And as you see, I'm throwing in a couple more twenties. Why not? There's some 16s, but something like this the the little stones are really fantastic uh yes it's super tedious um but who doesn't like a little tedious project every so often or all, every day for that matter um so bam 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 um i want to just remind everyone that we still have the 20 percent off restock on the whole site and still all the pinks also have a, a nice steep um, discount. If anyone was on yesterday when Kelly was doing her little Halloween um, tumbler, which I will show again, just to remind you that's on the auction so side of Crystal Ninja. Anybody have any other questions? No. Is anybody working on some amazing project? Jerry. Are you? Did you work any more on your cup? Are you I won't even ask if you're finished, but I mean, how are you doing on it? This is your generally annoying friend telling you, go back to work and, and work a little bit. I, I yeah, I just prepped 15 uh, Tumblr orders, so people are loving it. So let's see. Okay, Oracle, yeah. Actually, I'm hoping that, well, okay, I was going to, it's a little, not exactly as I'm going to say, I was going to say, most of the stuff that I make or will do on Taco Tuesdays will be hopefully for well, auction. Now, the unicorn bank that I that I just showed you, no, that's for me. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'll get bored with it one day and I'll, and I'll, be, and I'll be ready to, to get rid of it. But right now, um, and uh, so, yeah, between Kelly and I, I hope that when we do our lives, we can start to, you know, auction off this stuff. So it's something fun where you guys get to see the process and then you like and then you get to own it. So that's pretty awesome. OK, look, just a teeny bit more. And then I'm going to then I'm going to go over a couple of things you need. Uh, A Dracula bear, that sounds super interesting. It, what is the material that it's made out of? I is, is it um is it ceramic? Is it is it is it a pop figure? Okay, so look, this is what I want to tell you. Of course I had to have that stone, which I did not have to have that stone. There's like four hundred thousand other ones facing up but i was like no i had to have that one so look now a rubber duck okay so 
all right, you could always throw us a picture, send us a picture, and and one of the, so we'd love to see it. It sounds amazing. So listen, remember we outline the edges first, even so if it's a blurry mess on yours, remember we outline the edges. Now that I've filled it in, if I, like I said, you're not going to see it so much because the something the camera's not great. I can twist it around and I can see the how the light refracts and I can see if there's any gaping holes that need to be filled over here. And But what you can do is you can run your finger down the side of this edge to make it straight and the same on this side and then you could just manually look and pull out the stones if they don't like if you don't like the way they look then you can look down the side of your item how can i show you that yeah you're not gonna see it but anyway you're gonna this is my eyeball right here. See this little pinpoint? That's my eyeball. Just pretend it. Go with me, people. Work with me. You're going to look down and make sure it's straight. When you see a stone that is out, then tap it in. And what you end up doing is having a beautiful straight line. When your edges are nice and straight, your eye has a calming effect in a way, and you don't notice but when it's all ziggy zaggy or doily, as we like to call it, where it's hanging over the edges, then yeah, it's a little unpleasing pleasing to look at. So, no, it yeah, it's it's completely unrestful. Your eye is like, Burr. all right, I'm just okay. So you know what? That's that. Now I'm just gonna put that down there and show you the one I did this morning. Even so, it's completely it will be blurry. But you can you can see. I can rub it and and it's and it's it's pretty cool. Let me see how close. Does that do anything? Stop moving. Okay. Okay, the Wi-Fi sucks today. So sorry, people. It's the end of the world. What can I tell you? The Wi-Fi sucks. Um, but uh, anyway. Here's your little your little military buckle. You can do that on belts. I mean, regular like belts for to wear. As I said, I'm going to put it on this. I'm going to put the camera up a little bit so you don't get whiplash, or maybe you will anyway. So this is the fanny pack, Jerry. This is the fanny pack I made out of a wedding dress. I lined it. I'm very impressed with myself. Woo. Okay, and um. We'll cut this, put this on there, and then this will go in that side, and it will be super bougie, little bougie little fanny pack. So, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, that is what we're doing today. So, any other questions? <laughs> No, no bounds. Oh, thanks, Jerry. You know what? You get an idea, just go for it. Come on. Let's, you know, just do it. So um, anyway, if you, hopefully I'm hoping to pick up a really fun project for next Tuesday. It should, and it should be leather. And I know a lot of you often ask how to glue and what to, how to, uh, what glue to use for leather. Fingers crossed, everybody, fingers crossed that um, I can pick up this item so that I can do it. If I don't pick it, if I, uh, if I am not able to pick it up, I will pick it up the following uh, week. But um, don't worry, I'll have something fun anyway next week if I can't have this leather item. But anyway, this is, you know, this is like accessorized jewelry. I mean, um, you may have a belt with a big buckle or even... Uh, I wear a plastic buckle so that, I mean, I could, you could, wait, let me just take my belt off, ladies. Hold on. What kind of show is this? So look, hey, hey, keep it clean. Okay, so look, now this is something, it's a family show. So just, <laughs> so this is a really fun belt because actually what it's made out of, it's made out of the bands for sm snowmobiles. So it's a repurposed um, products, and that's why I kind of like it. So look, this is a regular belt buckle. So 
I mean, if you wanted, I could put like a single line of stones on here and across here and here, and I would do it up to where the little tooth thing, obviously it's a big, hot, blurry mess for you, but you know, it's just, look, it's something simple. You're bored and you're like, mm, I need to, you know, bling something out. So there's another little idea. So don't forget that the cup that Kelly made yesterday, the pumpkin um, tumbler, it's going to pop, boom, with this thing is on the auction site. So go in and do your thing there. And the auction does end on Friday. And if you have no other questions, I will say uh, have a lovely rest of your afternoon and week. And I will see you next Tuesday. Taco talk. Da -da 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 -da. Bye, bye y'all. Susie says bye.